Let's take the screwdrivers out of the way. This actually holds the outside of the clutch together. Try to remember how to how you took it apart and put it back together the same way. The 17 millimeter nut. This is the collar that goes on there. You have a uh, kind of a deep dish on one side and it's flat on the other side. The flat side goes up against there. The deep dish faces the bolt like so. I just put them together when I take them off. All right, this right here is just gonna come right on off. Move the brake out the way. All right, be careful not to flip it over because it comes all apart. Let's focus on the uh, shim modification. Um, this is just a, the sleeve that goes on there for the belt to spin on. I'm gonna set that to the side and move the belt out of the way. Try not to get too much grease on it or any grease on it, quite frankly. Um, this piece also comes off. And when you take this off, you can clean this with brake cleaner and wipe it down real good. You don't want to put any kind of oily type cleaner on it whatsoever. Alcohol and a rag or a towel probably work pretty good. Basically, once you clean that, you put that back on. Get your shims. Here's one of them. You slide that on there. Thankfully, they sent me the right ones. Slide the second one there, one millimeter a piece. You can get them in uh, a half a millimeter. Put them up against there, and what's going to happen is when you put this on there, it holds it off two millimeters off of this plate right here. So it shims it out. All you gotta do is put that back on there. Basically, that's it. That's all you gotta do to do the shim mod. I see a little bit of grease on there and I ain't liking that too much, so I'm gonna try to wipe that off. Last thing I want is my belt slipping. Actually, this ain't my bike, so it'd be my buddy's belt slipping, which that'd be kind of funny, but he ain't here right now. There we go. Anyway. The shims are on there. This is all this stuff's already been cleaned. You would want to clean all this before you put it all back together. All right, now here's the the clutch part, and what this does is this kind of this slides in and out like this and pushes in on the belt, and it does that because of the weights inside here. These weights, due to centrifugal force, will roll up to the to the side here and put pressure against this plate which is held on by a bolt and it puts pressure against this against the belt and it makes the belt ride to the outside so what you want to do and this will usually be dirty as crap is you want to take all these rollers out and clean them with brake cleaner carb choke cleaner whatever and you want to make sure that they roll in and out of here pretty good like that they're pretty free as you notice, there's a little sleeve inside of another sleeve, and sometimes they'll they'll push through and they'll take up a little bit more space as far as the width of them. And you can take a pair of channel locks and kind of squeeze them back down flush, and they'll roll real good in there. If you don't, if they feel like they're tight, more likely you got to kind of line up those two bushings a little better. I spent a little bit of time cleaning this all out with carb choke cleaner. I was careful not to get none on the inside of here. There's a thin layer of grease inside there. You really want to try to clean this out real good. I even had some Q-tips and stuff and kind of worked it a little bit. At any rate, once you get all this clean and your weights are all clean, uh, you know, you're ready to put it back on. You done done your shim mod. Now, <clears throat> this outer piece here has these little, these little guys here. That I don't know what they're made out of, just a plastic or whatever. They go all the way around the edge. I clean them too. And basically, you just set that back down on top like you took it off there's little notches that they slide on there and should be free moving up and down and uh you want to make double you want to double check you can clean your belt i mean your uh your disc here one more time before you put it back on looks like i got some fingerprints on there probably no big deal after I run it for about 10 minutes, it'll probably come off, but whatever. Okay. 
put it back on. That's all you gotta do. All right. There you go. 